Jesus, man. The guy just ran a red light. Hey guys, Mac One Aussie here. Today, I thought I'd get one last vlog in before heading on our overseas trip. Today, uh, I just really wanted to talk about and ask people, wh what is your biggest fear? Like, uh, I, I guess some people are scared of spiders or different things, but probably for me, my, my biggest fear is the fear of regret. Getting to an old age and saying, uh, I, I wish I did this one thing, but I'm too old to do that shit now. And it's funny, like, we're about to head off on our trip, um, and it's to the Caribbean and the USA, and it's something that, you know, was on my bucket list to do all my life. And I thought, fuck it, I mean, why don't we go do it? So I decided to take the family, we go on a month-long holiday and do it. It's funny, like, some people's reaction to it when they ask where you're going, and it's like, oh, wow, that's so cool, you guys are so lucky. And it's like, man, you can do that shit too if you want. I think sometimes in the kind of Western culture we get too capitalist with the, the things that we want. It's always trying to get ahead, a bigger house, bigger car. Mate, you got to enjoy your life, eh? Had enough friends die suddenly to realise you don't know what's around the corner, man. I guess there's one line from uh, Fight Club that really resonates with me. We buy things we don't need with money we don't have to impress people we don't like. So, my challenge to everyone out there is if you've always wanted to do something, fucking go do it, eh? You want to get to an old age and go, oh shit, I wish I did that. I had the opportunity but when I was this age but didn't do it. But I don't know, I, I guess it comes down to as well how you measure success in your life. Some people do measure it by material things, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing necessarily, it's, what, you know, it's, that's whatever's right for them. Personally, I've never really been like that. I mean, I don't want the big McMansion, or whatever, whatever you call it. To me, I'd prefer to have the life experience to go out and do these things and travel and, you know. So at the end of the day, people don't care, like, whether you paid your mortgage off before them or whatever, like, it seems like there's this big race, but there's not really. So yeah, it'd be good to know as well, anyone else that's out there, do you have the idea of a bucket list? So things you want to do before you kick the bucket, what are your top five on the list? One of the things on my bucket list was to get a motorbike, enjoy it, get out there and have a few adventures. That's exactly what I'm doing. on my bucket list was getting a motorbike and uh, yeah when I was first talking about it my family were pretty against it They're like oh it's so risky and all this but at the end of the day you're responsible for your life and the w risk you're willing to take I mean I'm certainly not cavalier with my life but you know owning and riding a motorbike was definitely something I wanted to do before I kicked the bucket so go out there and do it and just try and mitigate the risks that you you know you might have on a motorbike learn the road craft and make yourself more visible all that kind of stuff you know? always take the advice of your family but at the end of the day you still have to make the decision so 
I still mainly ride mine on the weekend, but uh, I do uh, commute to work once a week. So yeah, I, I chose to commute once a week instead of five times a week to reduce the risk. At the end of the day, it's a risk versus reward, isn't it? Look at these things.